Want to experience pure epicness? See that? That's how you do epic f- Welcome everyone and I'm back once again with another game review and this time it's for an epic hack and slash fantasy adventure game from Gameloft, Wild Blood. But before that, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be notified on my latest videos. Wild Blood is a 2012 fantasy hack and slash mobile game from the guys who brought you classics such as Modern Combat 4 Zero Hour. Asphalt 8 Airborne, and Nova 3. It is powered by the Unreal Engine that gives the players a sight to behold in terms of visuals. First of all, let's talk about the story and gameplay. After all, this is a sort of an open world adventure game. The story is all about Lancelot trying to save Albion from the wrath brought upon by King Arthur who made a deal with Morgana because of Arthur's anger with Lancelot having an affair with his queen Guinevere. I don't even know if that's PG! I know it's really fucked and sometimes makes you question who to root for. Arthur who was angered by Lancelot's betrayal and affair or Lancelot who is a noble soldier but can't be said about his hearts for Arthur's queen. So I'll say the story is wild and silly. The gameplay is solid though, with different maps, enemies, bosses, weapons, etc. to get your hands on. You can perform dope combos and sick power-ups as you mow down enemies. The battles are intense, but can be repetitive and frustrating at times, especially with some puzzle sections that becomes tedious as you go on with the game. But given its sheer scope and scale, it is still an acceptable blast to play. Now let's talk about the controls and features. All I can say is, the controls are fine for the most part. They work but sometimes they feel so clunky and delayed in response. It can also be really cumbersome while doing combos and more importantly, dodges. The camera system is pretty bad as well. It sometimes lets you face your opponent on the right directions and most of the time it won't. You can do sliding your fingers on screen to aim akin to a mobile FPS. But that's also the thing. It is too bad. Even if you crank up the sensitivity on the settings, it's still a chore to do aiming. The upgrade system though ain't that bad. You get pretty cool weapons and armor upgrades and also buy dope looking weapons and armors from bows, swords, double wielded axes, and metal as fuck armors. Graphically, it is one of the best looking mobile games I have ever seen. It is powered by the Unreal Engine 3 graphics engine, featuring surprisingly good particle effects, detailed textures, and jaw-dropping fantastical backdrops that pops and is full of life. You'll find yourself to stop and stare at the game's visuals, most especially its cutscenes. In terms of performance, it is also good, running at a smooth 60 FPS, depending on the mod you choose. Because sadly, this game isn't available on the App Store and the Play Store, and if you're on Android, you can always rely on mods. Just be careful because some of them contain viruses that can potentially harm your device. Overall, 
The game is quite fun and challenging and is suitably lengthy for a mobile setting, despite its flaws. It is a wild and visually stunning game that is a hit or miss on some parts. I give this one an 8 out of 10. Still highly recommended for people who want that hack and slash fantasy adventure akin to a Dark Souls slash God of War on mobile. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, comment down below of what underrated games I should do next, and don't forget to like and follow me on my Facebook page and Instagram, links are on the description down below. So see you guys next time, and this is Bardevoir saying, work hard, play hard, bye!